So when thinking about rune words that people overlook all the time, the first one that comes to mind for me is the enigma. Well, I tried to be funny. But anyways, in this video right here, I'm going to bring to you what I believe are some of the most overlooked rune words in Diablo 2 Resurrected that can really help your character out, and none of them even take a single high rune to get. Now the first rune word we're going to talk about here is one that you can make actually very early on for while you're playing through the game, and that rune word is Leaf. It only takes two open sockets, can be made in staffs, and takes a tier and a row rune. And for just those two little runes, you can get three to fire skills, along with two, three separate skills, Firebolt, Inferno, and Warmth. Now you can obviously find staff bases that have even more skills for the sorceress, but those are the ones that actually come right on the rune word. Now a lot of people do know about this, you slap that on your fire sorceress, maybe you can get even more fire skills, and absolutely wreck through normal, and then through nightmare. But what I think a lot of people might overlook is you can actually use those three to fire skills on any character. Now examples of this are the fire druid, which is one of the most powerful characters early on in normal. And then the fire trap assassin, which absolutely wrecks all the way up until the end of nightmare. So a lot of people I don't think kind of think about it because the staffs generally have sorceress skills. The rune word has extra sorceress skills on it, but don't be afraid to throw this on your fire characters whether they're sorcerers or not, in order to boost up their damage and their fire skills. Now for melee characters early on, a lot of people know about the rune word Black Thull Io Nef. Get yourself 40% chance crushing blow, chopping down the act bosses, just keeping it on switch in order to use that crushing blow. But did you know there's actually an easier, cheaper way to get crushing blow on your character? You can actually use these items 10 levels earlier. You can make this rune word in any weapon. And wait, there's more. It only takes an am and a tier rune. And I feel like the benefits for this rune word keep going and going. It actually gives you 20 to strength and 10 to vitality along with yes still more some life leech some of you might know what that rune word is by now and that is strength now if you don't know crushing blow actually takes a percentage of the amount of life a monster has left instead of the amount of damage that the weapon actually does so 25 percent of the time so one out of four times that you strike a monster it will chunk off that life so it doesn't matter if the weapon is dealing four damage or if the weapon's dealing 30 damage if the monster has 50,000 health boom, it's chunking off that life no matter what it is. So even as you get further through the game, the monsters are getting it more and more and more and more life. That don't matter as long as you've got these crushing blow weapons, you can just stick it on switch, swap over to it, chunk the monster down, and then switch over to your higher damage weapon to take the final last bit of health out. So while the black rune word gets all the hype, it does have 40% crushing blow instead of this 25. It does have some increased attack speed allowing you to hit more often. Don't sleep on the rune word strength early on for either you or a weapon for your mercenary. Now the spirit rune word gets all the hype and for good reason. The shield is absolutely amazing with all the different stuff on it and it's relatively cheap with the exception of it being difficult in order to get that four socketed monarch and the amount of strength you have to use in order to use it. But there is actually a rune word that is very good to use before you can find that monarch and even some builds this item is preferred over top of anything like the spirit and that's actually going to be the rhyme shield you can make this in any two socketed shield so you don't need the four so it gives you a lot more options it is an incredibly cheap rune word to make only needing a shale and an eth rune and for just that cheap of a price you get better block rate you get better block chance 25 to all res cannot be frozen and you actually get 25 percent magic find on it as well you might be thinking like yeah right phil you said there's actually builds that would want to use this over a spirit well, that is indeed the case. One example is, I actually threw this on just recently, my Trav Zerker. In order to get the Cannot Be Frozen, you get extra gold find from Trav, you get a little bit of magic find, and I kind of needed that resistance too to cap them out for that character. Along with that, it allowed me to save a bunch of strength points in order to put more into vitality, or to put more into, we'll say, dexterity, allowing you to land more attacks, because nobody likes swinging and missing. So with that cheap price, being able to use it at level 29, the runes, almost nothing, only needing two open sockets, there's tons of reasons why I believe this rune word is very overlooked.
Next on the list is often used for Act 2 mercenaries for characters that don't need the meditation aura or on that insight. It can also be made in weapons for your melee characters as well, and that is obedience. The hardest to obtain runes for this are the Ko and they fell, not particularly difficult, and for that you can actually get 40% chance of crushing blow, 370 massive enhanced damage, 30% chance of casting enchant on striking, which will add a little bit of damage, but more importantly, adding attack rating, leading to more strikes landing later on. And there's even a lot of little things that aren't going to help out your attack, but actually help out your survivability and different things like that such as 40% faster hit recovery, it actually has up to 30 to all resistance on it, strength and dex and minus requirements are also on this weapon, which would lead you to have more points in order to pump into vitality if you did put this on your character, because remember, every point you don't have to put into strength and into dex is more points that you can put into vitality, increasing that life pool even more. So this really is a good all around weapon, and don't forget now, it can be made in pole arms and in spears. So while two-handed melee characters aren't exactly the norm or go-to, this is definitely an option I think is slept on for actual characters or obviously you can put it on your Act 2 mercenary as well. Now the next one we're going to come to is a rune word for those melee characters. Grief gets all the hype, but not everyone can get that low rune. So up next here on the list, we're going with the rune word Oath. Now this is a rune word with the hardest to obtain rune out of all of them that I've mentioned so far. And this one does take a mal rune. But for what you get for that, it's absolutely amazing. Now with just four open sockets and that mal rune being the hardest one to find, you actually can make this in ethereal items for your character because it gets indestructible even though there is no zod rune in this rune word. Now as for the stuff that helps out the rune word, it helps out your character. You get 50% increased attack speed, up to 340% enhanced damage, but unfortunately this rolls in a wide range because the bottom end could be as low as 210. So while you are taking a risk, if it rolls in that higher range, that is going to be great for you. You also get 75% enhanced damage to demons, which can help out a little bit as well. And to top it off, to help you out with them ubers and stuff, you get prevent monster healing. Now this can be made in swords, axes, and maces. Swords and axes kind of being the best to make rune words in for melee characters anyways, so that works out perfect. And I do want to stress, it is really uncommon to get indestructible on a rune word that does not take a zod rune, so it is pretty cool that only taking a mal rune, you can get that. Because just the fact that you can get indestructible, make it in an ethereal base, that will add 50% extra damage on top of the normal base damage for a weapon if it was non-ethereal. So if you can't find that low rune on single player, or you just can't afford it online to trade for it, don't sleep on making that oath or that melee character. If you want to forget these mid-level rune words and go straight to the high-level rune words, the godly stuff like Enigma and Grief and Call to Arms and stuff like that, check out one of these videos right over here. They're going to show you where people really do find their high runes and where you can get them faster than you ever have before. Peace out, and keep slaying! <sighs>